Jared's not here. No, he abandoned us. He oh, abandoned we... his family. Dude. Oh, that's not Jared? Jared yeah. looks better. Yeah. What? Wow. Cuter wow. Jared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, is that an insult to Jared? That um, you're a better looking Jared or an insult to you that you're a really good looking Jared? Mm. I don't know. It's, it could go either way. Yeah. That yeah. could definitely go either way. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't need that comparison in my life. That's okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. He's uh. He went to Pensacola to be a rock star. Yeah. Pursuing yeah. his dreams. Yeah. He he left to go get milk. He'll be back. Mm, sure. He's not coming back. Cigarettes and a carton of milk. Yep. Yeah. No, he's never coming he's back. He's laying on the beach. Yeah. Sending me pictures of him laying on the beach. I was like, huh. Okay. Cool. Nice. See you never. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> <laughs> Taking your your seat at the table. We'll, we'll just stay here at your house until the electricity doesn't get paid. Yeah. 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 And we'll be like, when's daddy coming home? <laughs> daddy, are you here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least he's, you know, he's going for it. He's uh, he is. pursuing he's ambitious. the dreams. Yeah. And, uh, he has yeah. a new dream like every week, but he that's does. okay. And he really goes hard on them. At one point, it was this podcast. Yeah. Not anymore. No. Nah, it's rock. That's okay. Podcast rock star. Right. That's. Who knows, who knows if he'll ever be back, but you know, whatever. Probably not. You know, he's getting, he got all shredded uh, to go be a rock star. He got all shredded? I mean, Excuse me? I mean, that's what they talked about last episode, right? I don't know if that's. He, he started a workout routine. Oh. Uh, Did he actually work out? Did you see him work out? Uh, I, know he, he, I don't know. He, is, he walks through the gym sometimes, but I don't know if I've ever, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen him touch a I've light. I've never seen that man work out. Me neither. I've heard that he has, but I haven't witnessed it. So it's like if a tree falls in the woods. Right. You know. Yeah. He'll do a diet and then he'll do a lot of sauna and then he does some uh, jogging. And okay. then, uh, you know, his body changes. Yeah. And, I love uh, that for him. Yeah. I, I, he kept, he was sending me, uh, the pictures of him in the gym, and I was like, "Did you work out?" I don't know if he ever even responded. Oh, did he? Maybe but, he just did like a little photo shoot in there. Maybe, but I don't it, know. that's some Instagram. I think pictures? that's a big part of it. Yeah. Like, I'm not okay. going to say he's just not working out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but as a fellow fat person, you can't just work out for two to three weeks and look shredded by any means. Yeah. Uh -huh. But your shoulders will start to pop a little bit, and if you take a picture with some good downlighting. It mm -hmm. looks like you made a lot of progress. I mean, so. okay. he, he definitely changes every time he does this thing that he does. His body definitely changes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever he's doing, it's working. Is it the Ozempic? Ozempic? Is he doing he's that? <laughs> <laughs> he's secretly just on Ozempic. What, what is that, by the way? That's for women or what? Yeah, but I think it destroys muscle, too. It's like for people who need to drastically lose weight, but it uh, a lot of the women that take it, it like destroys the muscle in their face, and that's why they why get like, so, sunken cheeks and, and stuff. So not claiming to be an expert, but I looked into it. Okay. It's... It's a semaglutide, mm -hmm. which is just a, a fancy doctor word for whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Okay. But at its core, it just makes you feel less hungry. So, thermo. I don't have to be hungry hungry to want to eat though. Uh, okay. Eating is a well, sport. We're we're talking about Ozempic, not you. It's not always yeah. about oh, you, Heather. God. Wow. Uh, so it basically, it makes you just feel less hungry. So you intake less calories. Okay. And if you intake less than you burn, you lose weight. Well, yeah. But. If you abuse it by taking just Ozempic and not matching it with proper nutrition and uh, exercise, then yes, you're, all of the calories the, that your body is burning yeah. is not just fat. It starts burning your mes muscle. Oh. You get like Ozempic face, as they call That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, your body is just, you know, starving itself and you're causing it to do so. That so is. if you're not matching it with terrible. Healthy things, then yes, you are just going to zombify yourself. Oh, okay, mm. cool, cool, cool. Love that. Yeah, yeah. So stay away from Ozempic uh, chat if you're thinking about it. Huh? I don't know if that's what Jared's doing or not. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Probably not. Pairing that with a uh, some quick gym photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does make a lot of gruel. I feel like that would probably go right through a person. He yeah. might be on a strict gruel. Just it all out. Yeah, he's just doing. He's he's you know taking his supplements. He's doing the sauna, jogs, mm -hmm. and he's on a strict gruel diet. Right. He's gonna lose a lot. Right. Pretty yeah. quick. That gruel goes. I right really through hate you. that he tried to get us to eat that. Yeah. That wasn't a good night for me. No, it was gray, and uh, there was a lot of fat and yeah. grease at the it was top. Very congealed. Mm -hmm. Is this gelatinous, if you will? 
we, we've talked about Jared's gruel before. Is mm-hmm. this the same gruel story? Is he same. trying to get it? It's the same. It's it's just, it's, it, was it just sticks haunting. with you. It's, it was a very daunting memory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, okay, so his gruel is a core memory now. It's yeah. very oh, core yeah. memory. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He makes gruel fairly often. He made that shrimp and quail gruel once. Shrimp and quail? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about... Well, uh, he said uh, Aaron, Aaron C., he didn't put. I, I think he may have put bison in there. I think he was trying to do a, a, a land, air, and sea gruel. Yeah. And uh, he had it for a while. Okay. Well, if we ever need to lose weight, yeah, just eat Jared's gruel, and we will probably vomit and get it all out. Maybe that's what we should do. Uh, yeah. We should get when he comes back. We'll see if we can't talk him into like a new weight loss supplement or diet plan mm-hmm. called Grueling with Jared. <laughs> Or uh, gruel the the pounds away. Something with, right. about his gruel. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, I think we could do that. Yeah, that'd He'd be, be good. into it. Yeah, totally. We can just sell squirt tubes of it. Mm. Ooh, like Go-Gurts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gruel on the go. That's nauseating. By Jared. That's really... Yeah. There's like a Go-Gurt play there, but it's, right? It's yeah. Gruel-Gurt. gruel gurt I don't, I don't I hate everything Jared, you just said. Jared's gruel gurt. So bad. And it's gray. Oh. When it comes out, it's really thick and gray. Yeah. JT's yeah. gruel tubes. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. And you can get the jumbo gruel tube. Yeah, and they come in fun colors because the kids like it. Yeah. You gotta you gotta use a lot of dye because it's oh. gray. Why do I picture that being like an enema? Oh, you can oh. use it as an enema probably. An enema tube? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it'll absorb, but it will taste different. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Wow. Hate that yeah, he's going to love this idea. I hope he watches this episode yeah, I hope he does and gets too. to this part. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's probably going to laugh so hard <laughs> that he now has a new product that he has to sell when he, he gets back. He does have to. That's his... If, yeah. Okay, that's the deal we'll make right now. If he fails as a rock star, when he comes back, he has to start his enema gruel tubes right. of... Uh, Different colors for children. Uh, yeah. Um, I will say he has been sending me his songs. He sent me like their whole album. And yeah. It actually is pretty f- good. Oh. It's it's catchy as f- Oh, hey. Yeah. So there's a chance there's a that chance. the world isn't going to have to see the gruel tubes. It's actually really good. It's actually, the, there's a chance that the world can be spared the gruel tubes. I kind of want to uh, that up. Yeah, I don't know if I want him to fail or not now. I think I, I think I want him to fail. Just for these so that gruel you can make tubes. The gruel. No, yeah. I don't like this at all. <laughs> the world demands gruel and spoop. Yeah, maybe we should go down there and cause some some havoc at his shows. I will say, I, I hate spoop more than I've ever hated anything on this planet. I hate that Jared wrapped his car in that. Yeah, I'm, I can't really even believe he did that. Well, I can. Yeah. I can definitely it's believe pretty, well, he did you know it. What? Yeah, it makes sense. The I whole hate gym it. is still Mark Wahlberg. After one random quote, like one random little joke that Logan said just as like passing by. Right. And he was like, oh, I'm going to do that. And now the whole gym is Mark Wahlberg for who knows how long. Yeah. no, Probably until a, someone else comes here. It's a full picture of Mark Wahlberg grabbing his dick. As a little boy. As a young, barely legal boy. Yeah. I don't use that rack. He, he committed some <laughs> hate crimes, right? Didn't he beat an Asian man half to death? Mark Wahlberg? What? Yeah. He did do something bad. I think he beat an Asian man half to he, death. He did something not great. Yeah, I feel like he's not a great person. Uh, I mean, I know, uh, I think he tried to get better after the beating. Okay. Uh, that was like early in his career. Okay. Um, but, you know, who knows? Deep down. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Pleaded guilty to did felony he? assault. Yeah. It was like for a really silly reason too. It was like, oh, you should, wow, you. Were, uh, oh, he yeah. explained that he was on PCP at the time. Okay, so. well that explains a lot. Oh my god, dude, that you, have helps. you ever seen that whitest kids you know episode with the gallon of PCP? Yeah. Oh, so you really it's like so PCP? <laughs> Got a gallon. <laughs> gallon. I don't know if I remember that. You what? I don't know if I remember that. You one. have to watch oh, it. It's, it's like- so. It's good. like one of the five classic skits. Yeah. Okay, okay. I probably would remember it if I saw it then. They, they did the grapest too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Love that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Damn. Those were the good old days. Yeah, I can't believe I got just died. Really... I know. Yeah. Then he, he fell off a balcony, right? I don't remember. I think I feel like it was shady though. I feel like he had said something prior and people were like, oh, he's going to die. So, oh, okay. Like he said something he shouldn't have said. Like, oh, like somebody pushed him, or he checked or out. Something happened. Oh, okay. It was it was shady. The whole thing was hmm. shady. Trevor, but, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Which found some. Yeah, did yeah. You, did Trevor you Moore. He died only from falling off a second story balcony. It must have went right onto his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was he f-ed up? <sighs> died of blunt force head trauma. Blood alcohol content was well over the legal limit. Okay. That checks uh, out. Okay. With yeah, I feel like it was, it was like a weird thing whenever it was all going on. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Life be life and sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you get drunk and fall off a balcony. Yeah, I feel like a few people have done that. Yeah, that's like pretty common. Yeah. Um, uh, so we played a pretty cool game uh, last night. Sure, yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, um, you guys... Yeah, yeah. You guys got to beat the game and then I died by statue literally 0.3 seconds before I was able to exit. So that was kind of like... You know, yeah, that's really watching it. somebody it's fuck all night and yeah. then, you know, Only they get they to come. come and yeah. you don't. Yeah. yeah. What game was this? Uh, Dark was Hours? Game. Dark Hours? Dark Hours, and it's like in its uh, early stages. Okay. Yeah, it's like a demo, like a prologue, I think is what it was called. Yeah, you get to play like the first map. Yeah, so you're like thieves mm-hmm. and you need to do like partner in this like spooky mansion that's like haunted by like you have these statues that are possessed and they'll follow you around and like you have to be staring at it's kind of like mario with the the ghosts where if you're looking at them they're not chasing you but the second you look away they're chasing you Mm. um and it's just like a you know little team team exercise of of doing a little bank heist or whatever and you're stealing loot and jewelry and uh yeah no we we played it all night and then uh literally point one seconds before I was able to get through the door, I died. Yeah, you got to find like all these keys and you got to lift each other through like the vents sometimes to get to like rooms that you can't access. Mm-hmm. Then you like get the vault, the main thing from there, and then you got to find the key to escape. And uh, one version of it was the statues that chase you, and another one was just a giant demon that, God, would, just, that, so that would just chase you so fast no matter what. And like you, it, like you almost couldn't do to get away from him. Yeah. Some You have a camera that you can use and sometimes it would work. It's like you had to wait for him to get close and you'd flash him with the camera yeah. and he'd disappear. Guys, are you a terrible, gross, hairy mess? Manscaped has come up with the ultimate man hair grooming package. First up, let's talk about your ball's new best friend, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Say goodbye to endless passes. This thing gets it right the first time, much reducing the chance of you turning into another bleeding mess in your bathroom. And it's even waterproof which means you can trim in the shower, just kick all that stuff down your drain. Perfect for renters. Next up, we're talking about the Beard Hedger. Doesn't matter if you're going for that five o'clock shadow or full on lumberjack. This is the tool for the job. And just like the lawnmower, it's waterproof. So you can do all your hair maintenance stuff in the shower. So if you're ready to stop messing around and get your body and facial hair game correct, go to manscaped.com, use the code PI, that's P-I-E, and it'll get you 20% off plus free shipping on any package that you buy, stop looking like a hairy ogre. Do better. But uh, yeah, like the the more progress you make in the game, the more he like just doesn't give a shit and chases you. So that one was fun too. Yeah, but, uh, you're just yeah. Like that just sounds like an somebody. escape room. Uh, eh. It kind of was. Yeah, except yeah. There's demons chasing you. Yeah, there's demons and you have yeah, to steal. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah, no, it's like you had to res someone like every three seconds though. Yeah, it was just like because we kept aggressive. doing stupid. Shit. I'd be interested to see the other maps. Yeah. I feel like I have to go back and play it and beat it. I feel like it's just yeah, like so yeah. unfinished for me. <laughs> it's like edging. Yeah, we were like, all. <laughs> like, what the Everyone hell, dude? was right at the door. Are, are you losing sleep over it? Like that demon's still laughing at me. I know. Yeah. Like I literally, I was so pissed. By the time we got <laughs> off stream, I was so pissed. I was like, I was like, was like fucking all night and watched somebody else come. It's like, so rude. Yeah, because we played it like three full rounds. And yeah. Like we would lose. We lost the first two rounds. And then uh, everybody beat the last. And then everyone won the last They one came through her. the exit yeah. door and got me. Oh, okay. So that's where your analogy is coming through. Yeah. Is everyone beat it. Everybody but beat you. it except yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I love that for you. Yeah, I did. It was great. I yeah, think I was the cool. first one through. I found the key and I was like, guys, I'm out of here. And I was like, everybody here, right? And everybody's like, yep. And. Yeah, there was just dicking around. I, I'm going, okay, that's fine. I'm just going to. She was doing something else. Away. Yeah, whatever. I'd like to see that. Oh, my did, God. Did you like rage quit or like how'd that end? Um, we were done after that. Yeah, yeah. it was just done. Yeah. I just, I just was left with rage. 
Yeah, I didn't no. even get to rage quit. It was just left with rage. Rage dome. Oh. Yeah, you rage. Just, just rage log off. Rage yeah. sleep. Rage yeah. 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 Rage go to bed. Bye, everyone. All right, I'm, good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, like that was essentially bed. me. I did have Taco Bell, though. That satiated the rage. It quelled the rage slightly. It'll do that. Yeah. The cheesy gordita crunch helped. Always does that. Yeah. Anytime you're angry, you shove a couple cheesy gordita crunches in the hole, and the anger kind of lifts. Yeah, Yeah. just slightly. Yeah. It's still there, but, you know. There's not much that a cheesy gordita crunch can't heal. That's very true. I love that Taco Bell delivers out here. Yeah. I bet you could go to any funeral... And uh, if you showed up with like a bunch of cheesy gordita crunches <laughs> and and passed them out, oh my god, people would be like, you know what, this Dude, is this is a nice. Can you imagine? We should do that. The next funeral we go to, like, not even pass them out though. What if we're just the next we're funeral? Just we're just them? eating. We're just mm, at the funeral mm, eating. They're gonna get jealous. And they're, gonna, <laughs> they're gonna be sad and angry. <laughs> it's like during the eulogy. Yeah. We're just like, eating did the you bring some for us? No, yeah, I think uh, they would get angry then. They would uh, kick us I don't out give a f- f- because I wouldn't be angry anymore. What you're gonna you're gonna go to a funeral and disrespect them? It do, it, it depends on funeral? who. It, if it's Jared's funeral, I feel like it would be uh, fine to eat okay, cheesy well, gordita sure. crunches during the eulogy. Yeah, I airplane yeah. some gruel while I was in the, no. while I was in his casket. No, we, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, onto the casket maybe. You know, yeah. how you pour out some liquor for the fallen. I just pour gruel it's just directly gruel into onto the his hole, face, right into the hole. <laughs> Yeah. While, it's open, while it's an open casket, I'll, I'll be the last one to go up and I'll just put a bunch of gruel But it's like, in there it's like boiling hot. Yeah, it's it melts like lava. his face a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, his face is <laughs> after that. And then I had to close it. I was like, yeah, all right, he's gone. Oh, so you're, be you're putting that on his now. skin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bare skin, hot gruel. Yeah. I was Do they thinking, sew your mouth shut? I think... And your from, eyes too, right? Yeah, they like glue I don't know if they shut. still do that. I don't know. I think from the inside, like they try to make you look as natural as yeah, possible. Yeah, like cute. That's weird. They try to make you look really. <laughs> 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 Dude, they're like, damn, this is the best he's ever looked. Can you I request a boner in your casket? Uh, Whoa! What? Can you? Re- I, I bet you can request. A boner? Yeah, yeah. You just, tape, want... <laughs> just tape a popsicle stick yeah, to it. Wanna... But it's got to be a popsicle stick with like one of those silly jokes on it. Yeah. Well, yeah uh, so when they undo your pants that. to look at your dead cock, there's a joke. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Like, uh, they're like, all right, he's dead. I gotta, I gotta see this fat thing. It's still hard. And there's a joke taped to your dick. They're like, ha, ah, good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you got a microphone in front of you can use. Oh God. It's like a uh, yeah. They're always silly little dad jokes. Mm-hmm. Just taped to your. What 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 a, what's a dead cock look like when it's still hard? Is it pale? Do you does that happen though? Is that what the rigor mortis does, or is that just your limbs? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the dick gets the rigor mortis because the dick is blood powered. So yeah. if the blood's all gone, oh right, you yeah, prob- you even- probably have to fill it back up with gruel to keep it hard. <gasps> But then, since there's no like blood this. in it, it's going to lose color, so you probably have to spray paint so it something. That's what I'll do. I'll bring a pump and some gruel, and I'll pump his dick full of gruel. You're going to do that for Jared? I'll do that for Jared, yeah. Just, I could get uh, the tip just right into the hole, and I'd pump it full of gruel, so that way he goes into the afterlife with a big, fat, hard. This is like one of those, like, injection things that you put in, like, turkeys? Yeah, could, but with, like, some tubing it. on it. Yeah, I yeah. baste his wiener hole with gruel. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the mortician or whatever can hook like a pump up to, or a, like a, a spigot yeah. to his butthole. Right. So you uh, just plug into that, mm-hmm. rule it up. Right. And he's rock hard for the ceremony. I, I, would, I, I want you guys to like just Danny DeVito me. Like throw me in the trash. Mm. Or like on top, I want a sky burial. Yeah, if y'all what are you don't talking about? Sky... You want trash or you want like a very intense burial? Yeah, I want a sky <laughs> burial. Like somebody needs to like take both? me to Tibet. Let's put you in a dumpster and then just drop you out of the back of a cargo plane. I mean, I don't know. The Tibet, Tibet sounds nicer. Oh, God. It's Tibet just, sounds far away. There's a yeah, dumpster like on. 20 yards away. Yeah, but that's, away. Where the, that's where the monks are. The monks Why don't do you want be you. With monks? Because they're going to bless my naked body, put me on top of a mountain, and mm-hmm. then the animals, the vultures are going to eat my flesh, and then the monks collect my bones, and then they pound them into dust, and they release them to the wind. You don't I need a monk a for that. You can yeah. call up one of your stalkers. Anybody could do that. I mean, that, Laura yeah. would do that for me. Yeah. Yeah. Laura she'll would take do me, that. She'll take me into Anybody the water. Anybody could grind up your bones. Here she'll take me into We don't need a monk. I mean, that's fine. And Laura yeah. would do it. Yeah. Uh, All right, cool. That's settled. Yeah. 
What a request. Yeah. Do you want to deal with customs going yeah. to Tibet? All right, fine. Yeah. Laura, we'll just, I'm just going to sign my body over to Laura. Yeah, dead body. Yeah. Bunch of stickers on it. That'd be a nice little FedEx package she yeah. gets. She would love that. That's been sitting on her porch for six weeks because she like, doesn't oh, live at shit. home. I forgot to check the mail. I've been in a cave. You know, she's a cadaver dog. Like, she goes out and looks for bodies and yeah. She is a cadaver dog? She, she has a cadaver dog. Uh, okay. yeah. What's worse than a stinky taint? I'll tell you, absolutely nothing. Taste of Mando invisible cream deodorant. Stinky taint. Well, not stinky taint. Taint. Stinky taint. Stinky taint. Thanks to your Mando invisible cream deodorant, stinky taint is a thing of the past. And that's why this episode of Time for Pie is sponsored by Mando. And if you're a more traditional fella and you love the deodorant stick, Mando has a smooth solid. Mando is a whole body deodorant and has a 72 hour odor shield for any part of your body. That means pits, packages, and feet. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a stick of solid deodorant, a tube of cream deodorant, and two free products of your choice. Oh, and don't forget free shipping, Caleb. Ooh. And as always, our lovely little listeners, we have a discount code for you, and that is PI. P-I-E will get you 40% off a starter pack. And that's at shopmando.com. S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Shopmando. She could probably could be. Yeah. She could could she could, she could sniff out that. Yeah, yeah, she well. could probably smell yeah. that stuff. Does she have just like weird heightened sentences of being in the woods? I think we both do. I mean, the last time we were out there, we found so much stuff we couldn't even pack it all in. Like I had to like pick and choose which skulls that I wanted, which is really difficult. Mm, first yeah. world problems. I know. So many. Problems. Oh, there's just so many skulls. You didn't know what to do with it all. Just a pile of them. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been keeping hoist next to my bed for the last couple of weeks. It's like my nighttime sip, and uh, I woke up a couple of nights ago and I took a big drink of it, and uh, I just had to go and. Uh, Run! I, I did like a few cartwheels in the yard. I was just like very hydrated, and uh, like I just needed to move. It's pretty. It was pretty intense. Uh, this was like four a.m. I love that for you. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Uh, mm-hmm. So you know, I ran. I think my watch said like thirteen miles, and most of that I did cartwheels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so my hands were really rough. I can't picture you doing cartwheels. Well, I mean, I'll, 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 I can. Yeah. And it's uh, accompanied by the loudest of giggles every yeah. single time. Okay. I'm giggling cool. the whole time. <laughs> and, yeah. Thank God that the trash guys saw me doing them and they were terrified. Yeah, I would assume. So. I mean, imagine like it's still dark out and I come mm-hmm. cartwheeling towards you giggling. Doing giggles? Yeah. yeah. Out oh, of that's the darkness. Terrifying. Yeah. It's pretty scary. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't, I do recommend hoist, but I don't recommend drinking it. Uh, Late at night, because then you have to you have to do some activities because okay. you're so hydrated. Yeah, duly noted. Yeah, I'll, I'll log that. Stick to water. Yeah, or warm milk to put I you right back to bed. Really regularly, just drink plain milk. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> it's not mixed. It's just warm. It's this motherfucker has pina colada milk in his fridge. What the fuck is yeah. that? I'm. Actually, a little bit hurt you haven't shared it with right? me. We're doing that yeah. immediately after right? this podcast. Yeah, we're going to go sip some pina colada milk. You can sit down here with your brittle bones. Is it from that fancy place that sells it in the glass? Uh, it's H-E-B that has it in that glass. It's that glass brand. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, trying man. that. Hmm. Yeah. You're on your own hating that. Yeah, I mean, I'll, say, I'm, I'll try anything once. I'm just saying it just sounds... Anything? Um, okay, you know what? Some I'm going to dial twice. back what I just... Yeah, take it easy, dude. <laughs> Jesus. We have right. a list. Yeah. Everybody Not casket like, gruel. Uh, you wouldn't no. try casket gruel? I mean, I guess I wouldn't really have a choice. Yeah. I mean, what if it's not... Gruel just sounds gross. What if it's casket clam chowder? That sounds worse almost. That's going to be stinky. Yes. Yeah, I think of clams, I think of like stinky... Did you hear about that influencer guy whose wife died from eating oysters recently? Where? I don't know. She just went to a restaurant and like ate oysters and then died of like some... Like an allergic reaction, or was it poisonous? It wasn't. Oysters? It wasn't like it was like a thing that can happen if you eat raw oysters. Oh, that thing where they're like sometimes consuming raw yeah. oysters. Will, yeah, will result. It's so in fucked up. I love oysters. Death. I love oysters with like hot sauce and horseradish on yeah. fucking crackers. And yeah, yeah. Slaps. It's a good time. Well, let's see. Natalie Clark died after getting a bacterial infection from eating raw oysters. Yeah. Yeah. Raw mm. oysters, bacteria. That checks out. Yeah. Any kind of raw goo. Could probably give you a, an infection. 
Yeah. I mean, everything you eat has bacteria. And mm -hmm. if you don't cook it out, yeah. and then you eat 40. 40? No, how many? Did, no, uh, she was 44. I don't know uh, the number. Uh, but I was just saying, what, she ate 40 in the Yeah, place? that's a lot. Yeah. That's I mean, you can only ask so much of your immune system yeah. before you it's just like, overload right, it. Dude, you yeah. put 40 of these poison goos in here? Yeah. Um, do you like sardines? No. What? Who the f who eats sardines? I eat sardines. Okay. It's a thing I do sometimes at night. What is the difference between a sardine and an anchovy? Is uh, like the same I think, I think the anchovies are a they're little funkier. Like, they're both tiny the, fish, right? Yeah, the taste of an anchovy is a little more intense. Okay. But you like a Caesar salad, right? Yeah, I mean, I get that that's in yeah. the dressing. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. I mean, I get it. It's not like super fishy. You yeah, can't it's not really fishy at all. It. Wow, so, but you'll do, a, you'll do a bunch of clams, but no, none of these tiny fish? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Are you a fishist? What? I feel like this might be one of those things. Like, when was the last time you had a sardine? Probably never. I don't know. I feel like yeah, I have this very never. vivid memory of Jack eating sardines and tomato sauce in last time we went to Egypt. And he's just in the pool, like, scooping them out with his hand and shoveling them into his hole. And it just, like, made me nauseous. I think he probably did do that. I think I've heard this story. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. he reenacted it at the ranch at some point as well. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I think he did do that. Yeah. Um, I just, like, I'm okay, not, like, a well, fan of... I'm going to get you to eat some sardines soon. Uh, and pina colada milk? <laughs> we're going to wash oh. it down with some pina colada milk, dude. But they have... Really fancy sardines now that are like, they come in like a jalapeno sauce. Mm -hmm. And then there's one that's like a, a Greek sauce that's like uh, black olives and okay. some kind of oil. Really good. Oh, I'm like, I'll do like anything shelf, like shrimp, lobster. I don't love lobster as much as I love like crab or crab legs. Uh, oysters, obviously. I don't really f with fish. Like I don't love fish and I don't fish. Either. I don't like fish. Like and, uh, tilapia, sardines. flounder. I'm all about some sardines. Mm -hmm. Not even salmon? That's delicious. I like salmon if it is like raw, like sushi. Okay. okay. I don't love like cooked yeah, sam yeah. fishy salmon that. necessarily. Because um, I feel like sometimes you say you hate things and then I get you to try them and you're like, oh, wait. Like what? Like Chinese buffets. Oh, my God. I never <laughs> said that I hated yes, a Chinese buffet. Yeah, dude. No, I said you I was skeptical. Yeah. I said I was skeptical because you were like, it's all you can eat, like crab legs and sushi and all this other and I was like, that sounds like poison. It sounds like poisoning time. It sounds like I'm going to come home and vomit. You would judge me every time I went to that sweet, sweet Chinese palace. And you finally went and you said yummy to everything that you ate. Yeah, you and Brent kept eating squares. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had so many cubes. Yeah. Just... Just cubes of cubes. flavor? Yeah, they, cubes. They, they have cubes of flavor, yes. Just cubes. It's, uh, they, like, you know how they have the jello cubes, but they have some, one is just called, like, there's there's an orange-flavored one that's, like, clear orange, uh -huh. but then they have one that's just called orange, and it's, like, neon Sunny D orange in cubes, and I don't know what that fruit is supposed to be. It's not orange. Mm -hmm. It is the color orange, but I don't know what it is. And then they have all their, you know, little dessert dessert cakes that are squares like they do okay. at Chinese buffets. Mm -hmm. And they have these little cube containers that you can open up and it's like a, a goo with layers. like a Oh, like yeah, a, layer goo is good. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking about like not desserts, but like entree squares. Oh, uh, no. no. They didn't really have any entree squares. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna list this off uh, for our viewers, and I, I I would honestly I'd like to know what your favorite thing at a Chinese buffet is. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of people are biased, like like General Tso's. Like that's a popular thing I don't at like a that. Chinese buffet. I could care I don't less like, about I General Tso's. Orange chicken's okay, but if I go to a Chinese buffet, chicken I need good crab rangoons. That's the that's the number one thing is a good crab rangoon. I need um, it's like a crab salad that's got like, it's like baked. It's like a crab oh, that was bake. Good. I remember it's got that. cheese that was good. and like scallions and stuff on it. It's like a Ew. white sauce. So good. Scallions? Yes. I don't remember there being scallions there on the crab. a oh, lot. And celery. I don't and think you I said ingested. Yum. I don't think yeah. I ingested that. Well, you probably did. No. Uh, and then they have a coconut shrimp that I refer to as cum shrimp. Yeah, I remember you and Brent were like, you've got to try the, the cum shrimp. Yeah. And I was like, 
No, I don't think I he, want and to. And he said, "Yummy." When it was, you ate it, it was it's pretty good. I just don't. So why did you good. have to call it that? But it's it's just like fried shrimp with a white sauce on it, and it's like a coconut mayo sauce that goes on the shrimp. Those are my three things: mm. crab rangoon, the shrimp, and the the crab bake. Okay. If they have those three, I'm like a happy boy. Yeah, they had all three of those. They did, and squares, and a bunch of squares. Yeah, and they also had those mushrooms in the in the dark goo. I don't think I had that. Those were really good. I didn't have any. Of that. And every now and then, some places will have like a uh, a meatball. I'm not sure what meat it is, but it's like a spicy at a Chinese tangy, buffet. Yeah, a tangy mm-hmm. meatball. Oh, it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For as good as you cook. You describe food so disgustingly. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I, it I really would love does. to see you as like really a Michelin does. star chef, but <laughs> yeah. the yeah. that you're serving up yeah. is just like gooey cum squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally, literally like. But, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. They're like, holy. This is great and it looks good. No, what, he was literally describing this. He's like, Mom, me and Brent are going to the Chinese buffet. Do you want to come? And I was like, I guess. <laughs> what do you want for dessert? And, and, White dog <laughs> from the backyard. Yeah, literally, and he's like, Yo, you got to try this cum shrimp. And I was like, The what now? The what? And him and Brent were like, Yeah, it was so good. You got to try it. <laughs> What the fuck are you describing to me I mean, right now? But I've, I've eaten his food before. Like he knows the name of the names of ingredients. <laughs> he cooks so well. I've made the shrimp before. It, it, it's, it's just called coconut shrimp most of the time. But uh, <laughs> in, in Western countries, it's coconut shrimp. It's, oh, it's usually yeah. called coconut shrimp. Yeah. But, no, their uh, their chicken lo mein is really good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Like a good that's lo mein my go-to. Is always nice. Chicken yeah. lo mein is my go-to. Yeah, yeah. Dave, do you have a? It's super boring, but if a place does beef and broccoli correctly, like it's good, oh, yeah. that's oh, yeah, always been that, my go to. Yeah, like everyone like, has yeah. it, but not everyone does it they good. They right. egg rolls too. I thought like oh, egg yeah. rolls. Yeah, that gas station egg roll. Dude, they don't have it. They've not had it the last three times I went. It's going to be my 13th reason why. You can't go on weekends or Mondays, and you got to go like before 11. What time is it now? Or actually, you know what? No, oh, no, no. Friday. No, no, no. It's actually, it's after 11 because they have the, all the breakfast stuff in the morning. Do you think they'd have them right now? Probably not. I'm it's, gonna... It's we are busy at the moment, Heather. It's Wait half an hour. o'clock. They're out. Oh, of, my God. I'm so hungry. There's a gas station here in Bernie uh, that makes egg rolls. And they, they like have like a, you know, a few little things that they have in a uh, warmer. But the egg rolls that they have are so good. I was skeptical at first because, again, you trying to sell me on something. Gas station egg He was rolls. like, we were on our way to somewhere, <laughs> and then you were like, yeah, you got to try these gas station egg rolls. And I was like, why would I do that? That sounds like such a Jared thing to do, eat egg rolls from the damn That's gas true. station. That's true. He yeah. does love those. He does. Uh, it, but they were the best egg rolls I've ever had in my life. Oh, my God, yeah. They're so good. They're like, so why? good. I don't know what the hell, where they're getting them from or where they Because I know they ain't making them there. No, they're they don't. Just, they they they're from said a they weren't. They're they just, said they weren't. Yeah, they said they import freezer, them. it's a freezer and then they boil them in yeah. oil and then they're like, here yeah. you go. <laughs> here you go, you fat <laughs> yeah, And I'm like, holy crap, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I'd like to just buy a box of them. Yeah, those are them. amazing. That seems like something you could do. Like, just yeah. slip the cashier a 50 or 100, whatever it takes just to get a box from the back. box of those egg rolls. Or at least tell me, let me, send me a, give me a picture of the yeah, brand. Yeah, let me see your invoice. I need that yeah, address yeah, where you got it from. Brand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that. no, because but last time uh, we all went through there, they said, because um, we were on our way to Fredericksburg, weren't we? Mm-hmm. The last time we all went through there, didn't they say they switched the brand? Oh, yeah. Remember? Oh, no. There's, they were like, we don't get that brand anymore, and then we haven't had them since then. So oh. they, they have a whole new kind of egg roll. Mm. Mm. Another unicorn you. lost. Yeah, my favorite dude. And I was telling, I think I told you this. I told somebody this recently. My dream food that like I still think about to this day is a is a sandwich that I used to get from a gas station in bump nowhere Kentucky, mm-hmm. and it was from this place called Primos, and it was like this little like sandwich shack attached to a gas station. And I don't know what they did, but they closed down, and I still dream about that sandwich, and I will never have it again in my life. Oh. Dude, yeah. I think, have I talked about my dream sandwich on here before? Do you remember that? No. We 
we had the idea of like a sandwich competition that never oh, happened. I'm still, I'm, that's still going to happen. I've got a whole box of trophies. Okay. Well, yeah. if it's going to happen, then yeah. you have to organize it. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to. That's going to be a, a YouTube video for my page. That's oh yeah, yeah, because I want to have like I want to I want it to be when we have it's in like a nice summer day, and I want us to have a fun guests that I would like to be in that video. Like I would like to plan it when say like Harley and maybe like. Dylan and like a few of the ones that I really enjoy are here to be a part of it. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought that was just a Jared idea, but no, that was, if that it's was a real my, idea, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do that. That's my, that was my idea for my YouTube. Uh, because I think it'd be fun to get every person to make their own sandwich, like a sandwich that they really like. They choose it and they make it for the group, and we do it that way. Isn't Dijon supposed to be coming down? I thought he was, but now that uh, Jared's gone, who knows? But hello, I'm a doctor with the VA and we have implemented a series of tools to help veterans quit smoking. One of these methods we have created scientifically in a medical facility we call Hammer Hands. We call this method Slippy Fish, San Diego Comic-Con Hand Banana, Cranking Your Brother's Hog. We call this method Tortilla Throwdown, Portland Piper, and my personal favorite, the Angry First Sergeant. Really? Oh God. No, that doesn't sound, there's nothing medical about that at all. What we're doing here is making fun of the VA for how absurd some of their suggestions have been to help veterans stop smoking. Which is why we urge you to go to smokelessvets.org and find real ways and real solutions to help you quit smoking. My sandwich. Uh, I can't remember if I've talked about it on the podcast before. I know I've made content about it before. Um, Howard's Hot Dogs. It was a hot dog and like burger place back home in West Virginia. And they first opened, like, my senior year of high school, and uh, my girlfriend at the time worked there, and that was when I first tried it. And it was, like, amazing. And she would, like, bring it to me after she got off work, like, a lot. It was so good. And then one day, I had got it and then got the onion petals. And the onion petals came with, like, a, a like a paprika, like, kind of spicy ranch. And I was just like, you know what? I got some mixture of this. I started dipping my sandwich in it. And it like the sandwich was already bomb, but dipping it in that that onion petal sauce like kicked it to a whole new level, and that was like it for me. Anytime I was in town, I was getting that club sandwich and like two cups of onion petal sauce, and I would just eat like each half was like it was a big sandwich. Like I would eat one and be very full, and that went on for years, and then they closed down and. They weren't open for like four or five years, something like that. They reopened, beautiful again, best sandwich. I was like, oh, hell yeah. I was working at the the pool. This was like 2012, 13, something like that. And uh, I would go get it on my lunch break every day. And then the place burnt down. Mm. Is this the one in Oceana? Yeah, in Oceana. Yeah. What was that, West Virginia? Yeah. In the middle of. Oh yeah, nowhere. Oh, yeah. Is this a chain or was it no, just no? No, it was a local. It was, his name was Howard. He was oh. a, a local dude. Who, See, yeah, yeah. He like, it's like he owned a couple of other businesses there in town, and he just yeah. opened up a little hot dog is shop. This the one that you said you? <laughs> wow, he's a sick wow, of a, are you? So sick of everything. Um, is this the one that you said you tried to recreate? Yeah, and no, it, just, it just never, never came yeah, out. Yeah, right. yeah. Like I, I like. One of, my, one of my cousins before and when it burnt down, like a cousin of mine was working there, and she's like, "Oh yeah," she's like, "It's pretty simple," and she like gave me the whole recipe, gave me the onion petal sauce recipe, and I made it. And it was like fine, but it was like not nearly as good. The sandwich was like toasted, but and like wet, like the whole sandwich was like moist, like the bread, like it was like multiple layers of bread throughout the sandwich, and they were like buttery toasted, but like. Very, the whole thing was so juicy, and I never was able to make it exactly like they were doing something that they didn't tell me about, and it was pissing me off. So I gave up. Does West Virginia do the thing where uh, they put like the health score of the restaurant on the door? No. If you ever go At to a state that places. does have that, yeah. if you find a place that's like a C, sometimes a D, that's usually when they're good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they don't oh, wash like, those pans. They're seasoned real seasoned, good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. That's when it's good stuff, dude. You just got to make sure you catch the ones that are a bad score for cleanliness, not for roaches. Yeah, not for animal, like rats. Wait, what now? Yeah. What's what's the difference between cleanliness and roaches? Well, like, have you ever been to California where, like, literally every restaurant has, like, an A through F score on their window? Yes. Well, you've probably never seen F because then they're closed. Right. But, like, A, 
Mm, it could go either way. Okay. But like the C's and D's, especially if you like see people frequent it a lot, are the best places. Huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a couple places here in town that have them in the windows. Hmm. Is it? Yeah. I know it's not like statewide, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen a few. A few uh, they don't have to be as prominently displayed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like the only ones I've ever seen are A's because the others are probably hidden there's somewhere, somewhere. There's one here somewhere that has a C. Yeah, it's local. I bet it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I eat there, so in Bernie. Yeah, I can't. Where remember, I can't remember which one it is, but there's there's a place here that's got lower scores that they are displaying in the in the main window. And I don't I think eat I've there ever. I feel like everywhere in Bernie is so pretentious. Mm-mm. Wherever wherever this place is that I eat mm-hmm. multiple times, you know, what? it could have been that Chinese buffet. I wouldn't doubt it. Thank it's, you for taking my, me there. It's in my memory somewhere that I'm like, hmm, hmm, that's a low score. And but I don't care because every time I eat there, I'm like, whatever, it's good. It's somewhere that I go. Frequently. I probably have parasites now, don't I? Uh, don't you, you always? You had the parasites before. Yeah. <laughs> you probably gave them more parasites. Yeah, they probably I don't know. died. <laughs> whatever parasites went into your body were killed by the previous parasites. <laughs> Do you ever? They're, they're like gangsters in or there. Or at least now. their parasites no. were very scared of yours. Yeah. No, occasionally I'll eat like worm chocolate because I'm like I'm outside a lot. Uh, yeah. And I like I feel like I get worm chocolate. You mean dewormer? That one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gross. What do you mean worm well, chocolate? Does it too. Yeah, she gives it to me. That makes Whatever. sense. Whatever, <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, maybe you got some worms. I feel like you handle a lot of dead things and skulls mm-hmm. and I always have dirt, you know, in my life. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like occasionally it's probably good to eat dewormer. Yeah, yeah. It's smart every now and then. Just every now and again, just to make sure I don't chocolate. have any internal parasites. Yeah, I mean, we all do. I like regular, I know. Yeah. The thought it's of crazy. things crawling on my flesh, really. I try not to think about it. Yeah, there's so it's many inside. Unnerving. Yeah. Yeah. We're all full of worms. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You gotta get used to it. No. Yep. I don't gotta, feel like I have, have to get to accept used to it. it. You have to accept the worms. No. You, you just have to accept that everything on the planet is gross. Yeah. yeah. Like, for as long as the planet has existed, and have all the buttholes over all the years have mm-hmm. shit, uh-huh. especially the food you eat that comes from the ground is literally just made of shit particles at this yeah. point. Yeah. I don't they like any much, of the things that either one of you just said. Pretty much all the water that we drink is just piss. Oh, especially ocean water? Yeah. There's piss, yeah. cum, all of that in so there. So much cum. You used to be into science. You know how marine biology works. Yeah, Half of those things broadcast sperm. Yeah. Ingesting cum seems way less gross to me than ingesting or piss. Like yeah, old ancient just, animal piss? That's going to be a real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Heather. Oh, my God. It just so seems boring. so much less gross to me. <laughs> I, just, I mean, maybe not you guys. I, I don't know. drinking cum. I Okay, okay, Heather, damn. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's crazy. Dinosaur piss and everything. Dinosaur piss. Yeah. I don't think that's how that works. It is. Yeah. It is. I think. It, Where do you think those yeah. molecules went? Yeah. They're just back in the system. You know what? I'm going to look that up. How much piss do I drink regularly? <laughs> you think it's like spiders you eat <laughs> in your sleep? I don't feel like you're going to get really good <laughs> Google results how for that. Dinosaur. You're going to get some questionable pages. P is in water. <laughs> you can turn safe search off for that one. A hundred percent of the Earth's water contains dinosaur urine. That's a Google result? Top. Scientists claim that a hundred percent of the Earth's water is full of dinosaur urine. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. One hundred percent. Fine. You like that? Even if you type in how much water is dino, yeah. Google auto like fills it out to how much of water is dinosaur pee. Yeah. This isn't the first time this question's been I don't asked. Know. It's a popular how thing. How is this a thing? It's popular. Well, this is you know what? I'm just gonna drink mezcal from now on. So. Mm, I don't think you're gonna do that. Okay. I think it's how you die. It's like people <laughs> I just develop a phobia of dinosaur piss. Yeah. And I have to drink nothing but yeah. alcohol. You like won't even it's grab like your <laughs> It's like that Trevor Moore skit where he drinks nothing but where he uh, drinks whiskey. Yeah. For every meal or whatever yeah. it was. Every meal it was whiskey. And they're like, no, don't do that. He's like, I'm drinking your liquor. And they're like, what? No. No, he's like, whatever. He yeah. hangs up on him. Uh, yeah, that's fun. It's some yeah. fun science for us. Yeah, we could do a science experiment. 
I wonder if that's why hoist is so refreshing because it has a higher percentage of dinosaur pee dinosaur than usual. Pee in it, you think? I'd hope so. You think they refine that? Hey, you know something that's um, talking about refining. Like one of my favorite bottled protein shakes is Fair Life. You ever drink those? The Fair Life protein shakes. Yeah, especially like the what are they like the forty-two yeah, gram uh-huh, ones? Uh-huh. Those are super and good. It, and it just tastes like a good milk, right? Yep. Do you know the process of that one? Uh. Have you like heard of I mean, it? the only way it would work is if they're taking enough milk and like condensing it down to where like pretty much what they do. Yeah, it's it's just like ultra filtered milk. Yeah, uh, it's like they uh, they don't add, so it's not like a whey or anything like that. It's just milk. Right, they're it's just taking just, out all of the extra stuff mm-hmm. that isn't the protein parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's crazy, and that's why it's so delicious. Yeah. Like it's literally my favorite, like bottled protein. No matter what, every other one always has that like proteiny taste. Yeah, like and especially protein bars just have like that chalky kind of taste. Yeah, man. It tastes like um, Smarties. Oh, yeah. use your microphone. Yeah. Tastes like Smarties. It's good, right? You yeah, like it? Yeah, it's like the... It's like hydrating candy. It's like sour. Yeah, it is. That's the salt. Dinosaur salt. Yeah, it's the pee. It's dinosaur piss. Got it's it. the pee in there that's salty. Hmm. Uh, scientists call it squish. Yeah. Squish? Yeah, yep. yeah. Use code SQUISH20 if you order this. Mm. You better. Okay. Yeah, I don't hate this. Right? You should drink more. And now you're addicted. And now mama likes squish. Uh, I just, yeah. Your body knows you need it. Yeah, we just saw a changed woman emerge. Yeah, she's like, wow. Hmm, weird, I'm already feeling different. Huh. <laughs> Either that or she's at, like thinking about what alcohol is she going to add to it. I just drink straight mezcal like you're a real a, man. You're on like a, a, a cleanse right now. Oh, yeah. I yeah. haven't drank in... Yeah. Uh, it's going on four weeks, 14 I months? Something like four, that? I was going to say four weeks, oh. but yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's one month. Close. Yeah. yeah, my body's like, huh. It's crazy. Interesting. I don't, I don't need that to survive? This is crazy. I mean, I my, you know... Yeah. Life is less chaotic. <laughs> yeah. She's... Good and bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. You know? Yeah. The, That's it. The chaos keeps you like on your toes. Just, I feel like probably most of the good part. That's it. That, is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Wee. Yeah, it's always good. Mm-hmm. But that's fun. Uh, God, what else was I going to say? What is that on your... What is What is this? Jared has one, too? Oh, the salt shaker? Yeah, yeah. Hot salt, right? Yeah, put some in your hand. Yeah. You get a little it, taste It's just of a it. pusher, so yeah. push with your thumb. Push hard. Use your strong thumb. Okay. Just give it a lick. Yeah, give it a little suck. Is this going to... It's just... Give it a lick. It's salt. Lick it. Why... Lick it. Why just are you lick. It. Put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Why? It's hot salt. It's just salt with some it's, kick. Yeah. My throat doesn't like that. Hmm. <clears throat> really, really trying hard not to turn yeah, that into a joke. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. So much. I've got to cleanse it with this hoist. Yeah. Yeah, wash it down with some more uh, salt. Should I eat that cheeseburger? Mm, if you want to die. I think it just... The cheeseburger deserves more of a ceremony. Or Where's that from again? It's chicken sandwich from 7-Eleven. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 7-Eleven on the way to Austin. Austin, yeah. Yep. How old is that? It's well, over a year, year now. old now. Have you all opened that dome? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not yeah. like sealed. It's, Does yeah. it smell bad? No. It smells like nothing. Yeah, it's mum- mummified. That's not good. At all. I don't like that. Yeah. That's no worse than if it was rotting and putrefied. Right. Well, that can't rot. That's eternal. That okay. sandwich will be here long after our d- bones are dust. Hmm. I don't yeah. love that. Yeah. What's the cigarette from? Bam. He just put one of his cigarettes in there. Yeah, Bam left a cigarette on the desk and Jared decided <coughs> to make it a desk trinket. It. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. A nice little Bam cig. Huh. Yeah. My favorite thing about that chicken sandwich is still, as we were going into that gas station... I don't think Jared's ever been in that gas station before, mm. but he was talking it up. Be like, I know all the best stops oh, for gas yeah. station food yeah, wherever I go. Yeah, Mm-mm. 
And then he comes out with that, which was strike two of the day. Sure. That wasn't even the well, first yeah. one he bought. He got a. He tried to get a. Uh, was it like egg a burrito? Roll. Yeah. He tried to get an egg roll, and it was just a roll full of beans. Like he was like. <laughs> And he goes, uh, it's just beans. <laughs> Oops, all beans. Yeah. So I started laughing, and then he put that away, and then he pulled out his first chicken sandwich, and it looked exactly like that. And I said, do not eat that. Yeah. And he, he took like one, he bit into it, and he's like, uh, and like, I was like, go get some other food. And he like ran back in, and he came back out with a new chicken sandwich, mm-hmm. that one. Okay. Uh, and it looked exactly like the other one. And I sure was like, it did. did you? I said, did you even look at it? And he goes, no. And so he just didn't even, did he even eat? I don't think so. I feel like he didn't eat nothing. I think he That's just gave up on confusing. food at the moment because as soon as we pulled out of that gas station parking lot, Those like the a- very next shopping center on the left had a Chick-fil-A. Yeah. And he but was he was like, just huh. so demoralized. He's like, I don't even want to eat anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think so. I've never heard Jared say. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've seen him eat like, Cheeseburgers that were days old out of the sink before. Yeah, he yeah. does that. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to, yeah. uh, about him to somebody recently, where um, sometimes. <gasps> oh shoot! Oh, Don't yawn. start that. Yeah, oh my god. The f- is that? That's a big yawn. Wow. Um, sometimes he'll get like a handful of cheeseburgers right before a dinner. Mm-hmm. Uh. Like some, he's done that. Yeah, QB, quick burger. But yeah, yeah. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's wild. And it's not even just, it's not just one. Mm-hmm. It's two or three cheeseburgers and then a Big Mac. How is he not obese? Is just like, I don't this understand. crazy diet thing that he does. He's, he's just, I, just don't, I don't understand how he's not <laughs> a very large man. Yeah, yeah. He, no, he keeps it in check, which is, you know, it's impressive. It is impressive. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's wild, but I remember there for a while. That was like the, but that was for me. That was the fattest I ever was there for a while. I was doing that during COVID when it was like really cold. We would order food and then like, on the way home with it, I would get like a chicken sandwich or a cheeseburger. Be like that way, when I get home, I don't eat a whole lot of my food that I've ordered, and then I have some of this food tomorrow. Oh. That was like my logic. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's called but, meal prepping. Mm-hmm. But oh, then, meal prepping. But then yeah. I would like not stick to that and I would right. eat like a lot of it. And then in like a couple of hours, I would finish the other food. I'm like, mm. see, that's why it's like my logic is that I know that I'll do shit like that. So, like, if I get like a pint of ice cream, this is going to sound people, oh my God, this is so terrible. And this is such a wasteful first like world yeah. problem but like I'll literally eat some of the ice cream out of the the ice cream pint mm-hmm. and then I will have to put it in the trash because I have no self control huh. hmm. so instead of just eating ice cream you just throw the whole thing away I'll eat some of it like you'll like I don't hand. regularly order ice cream though that's why I don't sure. get things like ice cream oh, I right, have so self control with anything other than like ice cream and foods like that okay so <laughs> I can only have a few bites and then I have to go directly into the trash so hmm. And you don't you don't just drink milk every now and then? Why would I just drink milk every now and again? <laughs> well, it seems like you say that you have uh, like an affinity for creams, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that, that, that's what I've heard. People call you Creamy Heather. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, ice cream is different than drinking a glass of milk it's Not like really it's like a temperature difference that's about yeah, it one's much colder it's like that video of that dude where he's watching the other guy drink the glass of milk he's like what are you like a serial killer you don't even put shit in it there's not like you don't put chocolate in it or anything you're just drinking milk yeah there's no cookies or anything you just do milk you just do milk <laughs> so you need milk to be candy <laughs> You need to turn your milk into candy. Why would you just drink milk that doesn't, like, it's quench so your thirst? Oh, it does, though. Yeah. Especially midnight milk. Oh, yeah. The only thing I grab out of the fridge when I wake up in the middle of the night is milk. Mm-hmm. I keep, like, very specific things in the night uh, or in my fridge for nighttime sips. And it's apple juice, mm-hmm. milk, mm-hmm. And uh, it, sometimes just another variation of a juice. Like I'll have like a white grape juice or just like a fresh orange juice or something like that. And it's just so refreshing to me. I don't know what it is. Apple juice makes you have really extremely vivid dreams. 
Like scientifically. That would just be sugar because that's all apple juice is. It's yeah. Just sugar. Yeah. But uh, in that glass jar, that like 100% apple juice, it's like really- Oh, like the Martinelli's like fancy I, stuff? I that's it. Oh, okay. God, it's so good. Yeah. What, what is it about apple juice that makes it seem like it gets so cold? When it's in a fridge, like it's well. If you're drinking out of glass, that yeah. itself yeah. is like a luxury feature. Yeah, uh, like Snapples don't mm. taste as good in plastic, in plastic rather than yeah. when they came in yeah, glass. Yeah. Uh, God. So I think if you're buying like Martinelli's apple mm. juice, half of that is just the fact that it's in glass. It's so good. It's so. I feel like I'm drinking from an iceberg, and it puts me right back to bed. I'm like cooled down inside, and then I just sleep like an angel. What are you Googling over I there? I don't know how to pronounce this. It says because apple juice may increase acetylcholine levels in the brain, it may lead to vivid dreams. Hmm. Acetylcholine. Nah. I don't believe none of that. I don't All believe right. none of this apple juice slander. Like, I don't like science. Dinosaur piss. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Uh, that's me, Caleb. I don't like science. Dinosaur piss. Yeah, that's exactly Drink what hoist. I said. <laughs> Drink hoist. Dinosaur piss. Heather, fuck me up. Give me ice cream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like one of those things is just more acceptable. I get it, though. Um, like, I, if I have an ice cream that I really like, I'll eat the whole pint. Like, yeah, right like that, yeah. like Cherry Garcia. I fuck with sure, that so yeah. hard. If, I really like if a, you're getting Ben and Jerry's, they sell it in like the single yeah, servings. You can get the little the little boys that's just like four spoons of ice cream. Yeah, I should probably do you that. You should do yeah. that. You don't have to buy the gallon yeah. and throw it all away. I don't buy a gallon. Yeah. Buy <laughs> you can get a little, your little treat every now and then. Yeah. Mama's little sugary milk treat. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, uh, butter pecan, dude. Uh-uh. That's yes. I hate Don't even. pecans. Why do you? Why do people ruin desserts with nuts? Why do you gotta put nuts in cookies and nuts in cake and nuts in ice cream? It's like, f- dude, come on. Disgusting. You don't, like, you don't like peanut butter either, do you, bitch? I love peanut butter. Wait, what? Are, are you creamy or chunky peanut butter? Uh, dude, I'm all creamy. peanut butter. I'm all yeah, peanut butter. I don't like chunks. Yeah. It's I'm, like I like I'm I don't all. like pulp either. I don't like orange juice with pulp. Chunky is the the last one that I get. Sure, uh, but I usually keep creamy. I usually keep a honey roasted one, and uh, I almost always get a small jar of the the chunky, or I'll just get the fresh one there. Now that HEB does that, mm. oh, do the they fresh, have it there? Oh my, maybe God. your HEB. My yeah. HEB is just kind of Damn. middle of the road. They've got one that's honey, salt, and peanuts. It's great. It's fantastic. And then it's like, it's not really even chunky. It's grainy. Right. Yeah. Well, it's all about their grinder. Yeah, yeah. It's like just grainy peanut butter, but like it's good. And then it's like, you know, not going to like eat preservatives or anything. You know what I've been wanting to eat? Uh, Go on. (laughs) I can't say (laughs) around you guys. I haven't had it since I was a kid. Is that um, marshmallow fluff? I keep thinking, I keep seeing it randomly in the store and I'm like. You should make a. Sandwich with it, with yeah, peanut, with peanut, peanut butter, butter and marshmallow fluff. Hell yeah, and that's jelly. A, that's oh, a, with some banana slices. That sounds oh, really good. Oh Damn, god, peanut butter, jelly, marshmallow fluff, and banana slices. I would fuck that's with that so crazy. hard. Crazy. That's like, it's yeah. like a breakfast s'more. Yeah, oh, I gosh. would toast that. Yeah, you yeah. Could, oh you could. yeah, you or put that in like a waffle some, press. Or oh something? yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. It yeah, so good. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> I'm so I, I now I want to think about those, those damn gas station uh, egg, rolls. egg rolls. Yeah, those uh, those need to be better advertised. No, because then people will go buy them and then well, I won't get I to wanna eat them. I want to find out where they're from. Oh yeah, we need yeah. to ask because they told us originally and then I totally forgot. I, I wanted to write oh, it yeah. down. Next time I go there, I'll ask her. I'm, I stop in there pretty often, um, looking for the rolls. Just right up on your hog, looking for rolls. Hey. Hell yeah. Rolls in here. <laughs> that's what I do when I'm in hog mode. That's, is that? That's, how, that's, how, that's how I talk when I'm in hog mode. The hogginator. Uh, okay. And I beat the shit out of her. <laughs> I'm a different person when I'm on the hog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's the egg rolls, bitch? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for what I said while I was on my sorry, motorcycle. Sorry. I'm a different boy when I put that vest on. Oh, my God. <laughs> So no, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, damn. I like just ate a little while ago, and I I feel hungry after I'm talking so about hungry. all this shit. I could eat so much food right now. Um, let's do that. I want to yeah. try that milk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. I do want to yeah. try the milk. I know I was just talking shit about it, but I can't properly assess hate. the situation until yeah. I've partaken. It's partook. exactly what it's it yeah. what it says it is. It is pina colada milk. No okay. cry. It's like gay sex. You can't talk about it unless you experience it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. I'm not gonna comment. Well, <laughs> sounds like you can't talk about gays no more. <laughs> yeah. I can't unless you you know the rules. <laughs> unless I've done gay sex. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, Heather can have her opinion. Yeah, she can say <laughs> you and I can. She can talk all the shit she wants. Milk hating lesbian over here. <laughs> and if you made it this far, let us know in the comments if you like Heather better than Jared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, uh, say, Jared's dreams of becoming a rock star don't work out and he comes back, should we just completely replace him with Heather and make him pursue this uh, girl tube uh, hmm. venture? Or uh, yeah, should he just be in the guest seat? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> At a minimum, we should change the code on his gate. <laughs> we change the code on his gate. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, but, yeah, let us know. Uh, in the, his, the I don't know, dude. His songs are actually really f- good. I feel like they're gonna. <laughs> I would be zero percent surprised so if he turns into like a rock star in the next thirty days. As, yeah, that could absolutely happen. I don't know. I already have like uh, some of them songs. Pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. I mean, we and we know he's capable of it. Yes. Like, there's no doubt. No, like, I'm not doubting it. He's definitely capable, so he could very well just become a rock star. Yeah, and then we just have a or different, we just never we just have see a different again. podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Once he becomes famous, we'll change this stupid podcast name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, if cool, he cool. becomes famous and quits, we'll change the name of the podcast. Free range whores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's it. All right. Well, see you.